Mr. Speaker, I rise just to make a very brief um, contribution to this motion. Um, there are people with the school of thought that when you're in opposition, you should always oppose, Mr. Speaker. However, um, Mr. Speaker, you know, it's commendable when a government tries to, you know, spur you know, the payment of outstanding monies due to government. But there is one element I thought that the Minister of Finance and the Prime Minister should have included to encourage, you know, um, economic activity and particularly to protect the employees. This is directed at the employers, Mr. Speaker, but I thought that he should have included um, either a, a sort of a benefit when they're filing the tax returns that if they could retain some of the employees that, you know, they could have even gotten further discounts because what we have seen, Mr. Speaker, is quite a few of the employees releasing, employers releasing employees um, and there's, there, there's no recourse. So um, in terms of protecting employees, I thought that she would have an additional caveat in terms of encouraging um, the, the, the employers to um, settle their, their balances with the, with the discounts that the government is giving, but on condition that they can retain um, some of the employees that they have um, since sent up. So, Mr. Speaker, it is a good um, initiative to encourage um, employers to pay outstanding monies to the government, but I just thought we should go a step further to also protect employees who, who may be at the, the, the other end of, of being sent home without similar benefits. Thank you.